high performance golf caddy. Eli is guaranteed. Should be a scratch handicap by the time you lose. <laughs> the faith I have. Look good. Eli, tell us how you're feeling today. Optimistic. I'm very optimistic. I'm more excited for you. I'll be completely honest. Because I think Larry's the man. So I'm, I'm very excited. I'm ready. Get Ryan. Get Ryan. transition so I'm going to explain what I was seeing so when when you would go back you, you had decent hip turn decent mobility there but because your, your chest kind of stayed down your arm stayed short kind of in this look here so if we if we take that look and then we turn out early now the golf club has no other uh, option but to get vertical and stand up on us right there so you're fighting your your golf swing from this point all the way down. So to create more time in your golf swing, I would like to see you extend a little more with your chest on the back swing, get it to extend up to give us more golf swing, more, more arm swing there. So a little extension. And then from there, when you start down, you want to slam into this, this left leg without closing or opening your body up rather, staying closed. So when you start down, your arms can race. They stay down in front of you with a closed body and this first motion right there would be really good for your golf swing. And a way to practice that would just be think in terms of, okay, I'm gonna extend back, go down and stop. So your elbow beats your side, elbows in going towards your belly. And then from about right in there, you would push off the left leg, rotate around all the way to the finish, hit some little soft shots. I think this will get you help going the right direction. basically three basic ways so we have this out of plane squaring where the club actually will tumble out over and that can get the face to shut as you watch my face as I, if I were to stay in plane the face would stay just like so so if I tumble that shaft the face can shut I have a in plane squaring which would be well I just stop the left arm the right hand will push the face and that'll shut it. Okay, and you see this a lot in the club world. And, and, and then we have this about the shaft. So that's the twisting of this left arm. Well, that twisting part, in my opinion, is going to help you shallow the club, but also get a feel for the face. Okay. So. So we're going to break this into two parts. First part, first thing I want to give you is there's going to be some plane work. It's going to help the plane. It's going to help you feel the face. It's going to shallow the club. So the second part I'm going to give you, which you don't have to put in yet, will be some backswing extension to give you more club head speed. Because if you're leaping club head speed, you should, as, as fit as you are, as you know, tall as you are, uh, as young as you are, you, you should hit a little bit farther. And the reason that you don't is, is because the travel of the hands just doesn't go as far. Okay. Especially with the driver. You know, you know, we can get you up there to 100, you know, 14, 15 miles an hour. So you go back, your chest is pointed more down to the ground. So I say the chest should be, okay. 
we, we want it to kind of feel like it gets a little up at the okay. sky a little bit. Yeah. Okay. You know, you, you watch the movie Iron Man, you get <laughs> yeah. the light that comes yeah. out. And you just think about your Iron Man light. You're right now pointing kind of somewhere like right out in there. Uh -huh. We kind of want to get that point up in the sky a little nice. bit. Yeah. Iron Man. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. What's Iron Man's name? Oh, What's like his like real name? I don't remember. Uh, I know. I can't remember. Well, okay. that, that's good. That's a good visual. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, I like that. You got that Iron Man light there. Okay. So. Gosh, that feels funny. But like that, that that's, that's what you're talking about? Yeah, so see your, your hands now travel a, a farther distance. Yeah, yeah so basically the, the, the three things that influence how far you hit it, the, the, the undisputed king of the world is hand travel. <clears throat> and then it basically getting how much pressure can we get at the you know, last vertical into our left side. And right. if we can max max that, that part out. And then, you know, how fast the hands move in the transition, those three are kind of like, like we look there most right. of the time in the release. But we're not going to adjust that at all today. Okay. We're going to get this transition uh, a little better. Okay. And I think you're going to uh, see better compression. You're going to see some good stuff happen. Get okay. your posture and take your hands and put them about an inch apart like so. Okay, I want you to, to turn up and keep that distance, that inch, together as you travel up. Okay, so now, if you can feel your forearm rotate this one as you go down, goes kind of to the sky, mm -hmm. and this one will rotate to the sky as you move down, which would squeeze those elbows together, then you're going to arrive with this lead wrist position. That would be impact short arm right into the back of the ball. Okay. So that arrival is perfect. Okay, so together to the top. Now feel that roll of the forearms and then feel the elbows kind of pinched together right into impact. That's great impact position. Okay. okay. So what we're doing there is by getting that to happen, we're getting a little external right arm rotation. Yeah, and we're get and we're and we're gonna add here in just a second just a little flex with the wrist. Okay. So we're gonna make this up, we're gonna go, we're getting ready for the Olympics. Okay. okay. We got this sport. Okay. And this sport is is that the rule is is your arm and your chest can't separate. Okay. So you gotta hit this ball with the back of your hand the farthest that you can hit it. Okay? okay? So we can rotate pretty fast speed. But if I could add some flexion extension with the wrist, so if I can rotate back and start forward and flex that wrist, then I can snap that wrist and yeah. get that little extra lever there. Got That's it. right. Okay, okay, so go ahead and sit up there. Okay. Hands together again, one inch. Go to the top. Okay, now rotate those forearms and load this wrist as you come down. Bingo. I'm gonna switch spots with you. Okay. Is, I'm just gonna smack this bag a couple of times. Um, I'm gonna feel that when I go to the top that I would, would start down, kind of a little press into my left arm as my arms race. I'm feeling that forearm rotation we just worked on, pushing off the leg into the bag. And now I'm going to let this club push the bag over and exit. When it exits, I want to go up right there, hands left of the face. Okay. Okay? Uh, yeah, now feel that. Yeah. Right into the bag. That's right. Okay. And then you'll just push the bag over and finish and hold. Okay. That was good. That was good. Probably hit it slightly too hard. Okay. A little smoother, but that was really good. Okay. Sorry. He's just too strong. <laughs> he is. That's why we gotta get that club at speed 115. <laughs> Come on. Okay, so I come up here. Okay. So we'll that's that. right. That's uh, right. Love that. 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 Love so when he's oh, when he's coming through, is that just because he's used to not shutting the fa getting that face? Because he's finishing a little. Yeah. Okay. 
because it kind of tumbles a little bit to square and then it kind of fights it off uh, a little bit, you know, because it's used to it a lot. Yeah. What's funny is, so now we're going to hit little shots really easy okay. with that, that feel, that move, and you're going to see these little low bullet draws that go out there. They'll okay. start a little more than the right and to the right than they have been, okay. and the trajectory's going to come down, and you're going to feel some more compression. Okay. That ball started to the right, and it's lower. Yeah. Yeah. Love it. Low draw, started a little right, drew back. You can't do this enough. Go ahead and, and make your back swing. Okay. So feel that forearm roll as I press. I'm gonna pull you down in. No, no, that's slide, that's oh, slide bump. Okay. I want down, push into that left leg right there. Yeah, okay. That's a lowering right there. A little downhill work. Kind of a little recentering that's going on. That's okay. right. As you're rolling that forearm the same way we were earlier. Okay. Push off that leg. That's right. When I say push off the leg, I'm talking about the front leg. Front leg. Yeah. That's okay. right. So now let's put the club back over there for a second. Okay. Hands an inch apart. Okay. Go to the top. Okay. Now. Feel that forearm move we made before as you push down in that leg and push off. Bingo. <coughs> Good. Now the secret to most great players is most great ball strikers and players get the face under control faster the secret to most bad players are is they get it under control later. <laughs> gotcha. Okay? okay? Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Really? Awesome. Good smoky. Yeah, it should because you haven't done it. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. That's the best swing you've ever made in your life right here. It's as good as it gets. Now let's just hit a couple thinking about that. Right. Let you feel it and let's get a little bit of uh, comfort with it. Oh, I didn't do it. It's all right. It's almost better that you hit a shot and you felt yourself not do it just so you can understand than hit the perfect shot. Yeah. The, the left, the, 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 the weight, the going down thing is what's throwing me. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. A little different, isn't it? Yeah, it's so different. Go ahead and sit up there. Make your back swing. Start down. Do that again. Start down. That will be super shallow. Flattening as you manage the face. You can have a little bit of that going on. Now, you don't have to worry about much of it because the forearm roll is doing most of that for you. Right. So you don't have to like, you don't have to like, like maneuver it or anything, but that's just kind of a feel thing. I'm just okay. I don't want you to try to do all of that. Okay. It's here. And then mm -hmm. that's what I'm that, that's what I'm that's what I'm missing. Yeah, because in your in your old move is you are just kind of getting to the top and just trying to clear the hips. Yeah. Okay. And the best players on planet Earth for, for the most part, that club moves back and about right in here, they're about the max uh, unweighting that they're going to have. Then believe it or not, as the club gets in this section, they're starting to go forward. They're recentering and they're recentering by almost like a lean and a press down. Their head gets back over the ball. They recenter and it's a closed hip situation. Gotcha. They're, as they transition their weight, they're not spinning yet. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Can I get you?
try and do 13 things. You're trying to do 100 and shit things right there. But again, that's why you get a little bit slower. That's right. Okay. Good job. And 827. That's all right. That's a great way to practice to understand. Wow, that's the arrival. That's what impact looks and feels like. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. See, that's really good. The hardest thing for you know getting to be, become really, really good is allowing yourself to struggle and not overreact to the struggle. Just yeah. know that okay, I'm doing what I want to do here, feel wise. Now, as good as you are, that struggle is probably going to last like five or six shots, I'll be honest with you. Yeah. You've got zero reason that you're not uh, a scratch handicap. Yeah. That's good to hear. Now, there's nothing you do wrong. Your body moves good. You've got good strength, flexibility. You know, there's no issues. You proved in three swings that you owned the concept, that you knew what I was talking about, and that's all I needed to see. I got it. Yeah. yeah, I didn't really. Nice. Mm. Awesome. That was a good one. That was really, really good. Awesome. Your pattern for the amount of golf you played has been pull down tumble. Yeah. This is like, this is the intersection in your game where, okay, you, you've taken your game for a pretty good ride here. Okay, so now you're a little, little fork in the road where you're gonna have to be like, okay, I've got to make some adjustments here to make that next little right. move. This is the next little move yep. that, you're, that you're gonna have. All right, Larry, big thing for me. So I worked on what you had me doing, which was in tight. Yep. And then opening and here. Yeah. Okay. Um, I feel really, really good with a wedge in my hand. Mm -hmm. I'm hitting the ball really well with a 100 min club. Mm -hmm. When I go to my driver, okay. I'm having issues. Okay. So have you, uh, have you, uh, you've hit some balls already? Yeah. I've hit, I went to the range and then I actually played yesterday. But you're loose. Well, I'm saying today. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. We hit, I'll hit one or two here. Yeah, hit one or two and we get straight to that driver. <laughs> All right, that's the anomaly. <laughs> that was really bad. Yeah. Dang. I'll tell you what, I got my work cut out. <laughs> that was awful. Okay. So here's what we're going to have to do. Is, uh, this probably won't be good for the video. Let's go outside. I want to see your body lines. Because okay. anybody can set up in here. Okay. So I want to see you step in there and aim at that. Okay. And you're just playing a basically, you know, a, what, what kind of shot are you playing, a fade or a draw? Uh, fade. Okay. Okay, now don't move for me. 90% of all your trouble, in my opinion, is happening on the golf course because of this. So now step back there. Where's that club pointed? You can't hit a fade from there. It's not possible. So you hit the two really good balls in there from the aids, you know, everything, the building, all that's lined up. Yeah. So now set your body to that. Now when you first glance, okay, as soon as your head goes from the, the ball. There, where do you look like you wind up at? The tree under the tree. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so listen to me, it's really important. Come yeah. back here. Yep. Low hanging fruit. Mm -hmm. How you see the target. So I can take my head and I can find the target no matter how my body's oriented. So 
looking to find the targets, not lining up. Yeah. So we want to practice when we practice how to see where the face is pointed. So as I walk in, obviously I got my things that are important to me. I want to step perpendicular right there. So I want to step, and I'm going to use this little dot right here as my intermediate target. Okay. Intermediate target doesn't work if it's more than four, five, six inches front as we talk. Okay. So you walk in, step on perpendicular. is not going to happen yeah. from your original line. Yeah. You're probably going to hit a harder hook. Yeah. shots and you'll figure out how to release it with this alignment. The single most important thing for a golfer of your guys level is controlling the controllables when you practice. Yeah. Ball position, line, grip, those starting face angles, those things are the creation of all your long-term problems. Yeah. Like this maneuvering with things we talk about in the golf swing, they're not that important. I mean, those are things you're going to get pretty easy, honestly and truly. But the day-to-day, -day, see, the reason golf is the most savage sport there is is because your coach is never with you. It's the only sport you play. You do all your practice without your coach. So you have to be great at controlling the controllables. on the tee box. Yeah. 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 And that's going to give you a little more to play with. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. 